News Real World, real news real quick. Russia's foreign ministry on Thursday said the United States has questions to answer over its alleged role in explosions that destroyed the undersea Nord Stream gas pipelines last year after Pulitzer Prize winning American journalist Seymour Hersh accused the United States military and CIA of involvement in the blast which destroyed the Nord Stream and Nord Stream 2 gas pipelines and alleged that President Joe Biden directly greenlighted the operation. Hirsch wrote that skilled deep water divers from the U.S. Navy planted C-4 explosives during a training exercise in June of 2022 and then detonated the payload three months later remotely. Hirsch received the Pulitzer Prize for his 1969 expose on the massacre of Vietnamese civilians by American troops. He is also the journalist who broke the story of U.S. troops brutalizing Iraqi prisoners in Abu Ghraib prison in Iraq after the U.S. invasion in 2003. The Chinese balloon shot down off the South Carolina, South Carolina coast was part of a large surveillance program that China has been conducting for several years, Brigadier General Pat Ryder, the Pentagon spokesman, said. They're all part of a Chinese spying effort, he explained. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky ended a tour of his major European backers on Thursday with a visit to the European Parliament where he received rapturous applause. Zelensky told the European nations during his speech to the Parliament that Ukraine's fight against Russia is a fight for the freedom of Europe as a whole. Russia made territorial gains in Ukraine's eastern regions during the 50th week of the war, as the Russian army threw new recruits into the front lines to probe defenses with widely dispersed attacks. And finally, India's government-run Animal Welfare Department has appealed to citizens to mark Valentine's Day not as a celebration of romance, but as a cow hug day, better to promote Hindu virtues. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.